Hello and welcome back to Boring Dad Gaming, where today we're going to be playing some more Coral Island. We're going to greet the dog. He's happy today, happy as ever. It should be raining today if I remember the weather forecast from last time. Which means we don't have to water those two tiles that <laughs> they're the only ones that don't have sprinklers on them. Um, now we could, I already had that letter. I don't want to read it again. He's gloating. Hmm. Let's go see the uh, let's say go see the animals first. Just chicken eggs today. Quack 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 quack. Ooh, gold star large egg, very nice. Uh, oh, we'll let them outside. It's only a bit of rain. Only a bit of rain, and they're ducks and stuff. That'll be fine. Oh, I forgot about the goats. Hooray. Uh, they're, they're not ready to produce today, but that's all right. Gold star large milk. Yeah, they're producing some nice stuff at the moment. Say hello. Which one are you? BG Gruff, so you must be Billy T Kid. Ding a ding ding. They can come out too. Keep an eye out for more mushrooms today. I'd like to get them all populated if I can. Uh, yeah, I got a decent amount of empty space. Got quite a lot of peppers to do today. Let's see artichokes ready. Bit of a different theme today. It's still quite reflective, philosophical, I'd probably say. Um, but let's uh, get some stuff going. It's quite nice. I like the music in this game. It's nice. It's uh, calm and peaceful. up as we go. Let's take a quick trip through the fields because there was some stuff I wasn't able to pick up previously. Yeah, inventory is full again. There's taro root juice, we could get some more in there. What's this one making? Uh, pumpkin juice. I didn't, didn't get any pumpkins today, so we'll leave that for now. Barley. And that's pumpkin as well. We'll leave those to finish in that case. Let's chuck some of these in. Uh, oh, yeah, we'll get that, get that large egg in as well. I 
Is this the... Is that Tuesday? I can't remember if that's his day to be closed. It's not. He should be open up any minute. Then, did I get... Did, have I got more barley? I have, actually. Uh, how many... Okay, put one in. Let's put a gold star in. Okay. Good. Well, that's all. I suppose I've got stuff here. So have I? Why not? I got like tarot root and stuff in here. Tarot root. Bit of a sweet potato. Right. Um. Got quite a lot. Of, I've got a lot of everything except bronze, haven't I? Which I kind of still need. So bear that in mind. Uh, but let's go and let's go and do uh, these things, coffers, and I've got a couple of geodes as well. I think I've had that one before. Definitely had that. Definitely had that. Map may be new. I think I've had trash before. And silver kelp. I don't mind seeing silver kelp. Don't need it, so. Emerald, interesting. Ooh, okay. That could help with uh, upgrading an enchantment, that emerald. Enchantment. Uh, I feel like there's one I need. I don't, I don't know that I do particularly. I might look at what I need to do the silver axe, uh, sorry, the silver fishing rod. Ooh, that could be a new one. Then we'll check the. Ooh, is that, was that there before? <laughs> I suppose it must have been. I didn't notice that before. Grand beetle. Oh, I think I've run out of blue dahlias. I think I'll leave that. Mind you. Four days. I mean, I could check how long they take to grow. I expect it's longer than four days. Oh, well, looking outside, it's just started snowing here. First time... Well, probably since... Last January. They grow in four days. Okay. Well, let's get a bunch of them then. Stick them in the ground. And we'll, I'll, ta I'll take the errand. I mean, in my time out, is that, mind you, it's only 9.30, so the seeds might be able to get started today. I'll go back now and plant those. I might even teleport from the museum thing up here just to do it extra quick. I have oh yeah I've got some spots here let's do it here. Oh there's something there. Uh, I could probably make some fertilizer even. I'm going to make the basic one because uh, I don't want to use up the silver kelp. There we go, and they're being watered, so, and it's ten o'clock. So they they may they may they may get a day of growth in and be ready in time for the deadline. Uh, I'm going to pop my clogs. No, I'm going to pop my emerald. Mm. The thing is, I'm wondering is, have I donated it? I haven't donated an emerald. I've done an opal. Oh, I've done some of these. Yeah, okay. Maybe I'll donate the the, uh, the emerald. Ooh. Alright. Uh, 
I could get some more barley in there too. You can turn rice into like a rice wine as well. Apparently. Go on then, take my emerald. 172. Um, think about what else I'm going to do today. Oh yeah, I was going to check out the, the fishing rod thing, wasn't I? I mean, I think it's... God, I can't, I can't actually even remember. I can't remember if it's... I think it's kelp essence. I've got nine silver currently. I don't know where I am. I've got completely lost. <laughs> Keep heading south. Hopefully eventually I'll hit the beach. Here we go. closed. Is it closed all day? Yes. Okay, well we won't do that then. Let's go to the new forest area and we'll uh, try and get some hardwood from there, I guess. This is a lily up there. Grab that. I keep looking in these little palm trees as I go by and just see if there's any coconuts to harvest. I haven't seen any yet. I don't need that mantis. Right, so this is done now. I could get something else in there. Uh, we could try making a rice wine, as we just mentioned that. I've only got one, but, uh, yeah, why not? Oh, and this one's ready as well. We could do... I'm going to take a bronze sweet potato to put in the other chests, just to keep. Oh, we'll get, get some more pale ale going, maybe. Go. Uh, yes, forest. I see our little goats. There they are. Hello. <laughs> a snail, don't they all bother? Figaro. Uh, yeah, there's no little mantis in there today. I can see the hardwood. get the wings off those bats. <laughs> seems, seems a bit cruel. Or do I try and get that? Maybe. It's gone. Oh, there's another one, though. That's another one of the ghost mantis. And I think that's probably what the other one was as well, the one that I haven't seen in the log for a couple of days. It's 12.10. I might, I might... I might do another five levels in the... Uh, in the mine. That's what I might do. Back to the farm. Pick up a few things. What are you? Are you just a snail? I think the next, I think five levels takes us down to 30 and then we sort of build up for our, our big one. Big 10 floors. Uh, I want 
sure I had a duck egg. Was it in this one? Right, grab our sword. And let's go do five levels in the mine. Don't look much like a warrior, do I, in my duck shirt and beanie hat, but looks can be deceiving, because we beat this giant already. Just a bit of fun set dressing. Another one there. No ore on this level, though. So let's just start making the exit, I suppose. Already, that's not too bad. Another one of those little things up here. Check the rest of this level. I uh, don't think there's anything else really for us. Well, what are you? Monster essence, huh? It's hoping for bat wings. the aesthetic of this fire level. Lavery and hot. Big one the slime. Let's start here. Let's start somewhere. Oh, and already. Down we go. Oh, I just saw a couple of Osmium there. I mean, I guess I could go back up, but... Um, actually, it would take me out, wouldn't it? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm probably okay. Slime.
Ah, I've done it twice in a row. Ah, level 30. Bad at all, what do we get? A blessed opal ring, let's have a look. Increases the chance of finding rare items. Yeah. Might take that instead of my 2% chance to shield a blow. Okay. All right, well, I guess we go. And then when, next time we come to the mines, we're going to need to be prepared to go down quite a few levels. I'll probably do some ropes and stuff just to make sure that doesn't take too long. Oh. <laughs> yeah, very nice. Very fancy. Four geodes. If the blacksmith's open today, I guess we could do that. I put the ring in his chest. lucrative day. Let's pop over to the blacksmith again and open up these geos as we just got them. Coal. Twelve coal though, that's not bad. Five bronze, I'm actually quite pleased with that. And a ruby. Very nice. And an onyx. Okay. Uh, so, I've donated the onyx, but we can donate the ruby. Look at the uh, some of the zones. Coming up there. What the insect house is looking like. Woolly bears. Beetles. Moths and butterflies and caterpillars. Where the spiders are. Well, yeah, there's the tarantulas and the whatever they were, the redbacks. Gross. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, they made the tarantulas look quite cute, I suppose. Not my favourite thing in the world, but they've made them look all right. It's just the Founders Hall again. Like, oh, I won't do that. Okay, very nice. Busy in there, lots of snails. Ah, oh, look at these guys. It's weird they have wasps but no bees, isn't it? And these guys just doing like a little <laughs> perimeter. Cute. Ah, I went in the aquarium recently. Have a look at how the fossils are coming along. I mean, I haven't found a huge amount of those yet, but some more mammoth. Got some of whatever that is. Stegosaurus not looking too bad. 
Such little things there. I guess there must be aquatic ones as well. I haven't found any of those. Cool. Well, I'll probably do a sweep of stuff to sell and then maybe, maybe can hit the hay for today. ticking away. Didn't find any mushrooms today. Oh, we've got another sweet potato. An iridium one. Where is it? So we put a couple of things... Well, we put the onyx in the gem box. And we've got the bronze. How much bronze did I get, actually? Uh, well, we could put one, we could put one on to make. A decent amount today actually. I'm expecting over 10k I think, ideally. Tomorrow is sunny. I had a feeling it would be. Let's go to bed. Flash 2. That's probably, that's probably gonna make seeds grow quicker I guess. Spring trap. Okay, nice to get the skill point though. Uh, 9. I wasn't far off but not quite as much as I thought. Boring dog, how are you doing today? Very happy. Well, let's uh, do our mastery before I forget. What have we got? A uh, chance of doing a critical 5% crit chance or double loot from defeating a monster. Very low chance. I'm going to take the crit chance. Let's go and do the animals. I'm going to go to the barn and we'll work our way across, I think, today. Might have some goat milk today. That'd be rather nice. I think we do. So we've got a goat milk. If we get a large milk off this one, we'll be able to finish that bundle. No. Quality large milk though, don't mind that. <laughs> Quite noisy little things, aren't they? It's like a little while since I've seen a quail egg. I think there might be every four days though, so it's not a surprise really. No, I don't need quackers to be that happy. I need that egg. Ooh. There we go. Ah. Uh, well, we'll save a goat milk to be uh, a temple offering. Put those in for now. Uh, we have to get two rounds in the mayo machines. I might go and offer the uh, the goat milk now, just so I don't accidentally put it in something. There we go, it's just large goat milk needed there. In terms of this, uh, we've done the fall season bundle. We've got all this stuff to come. Now, the, apparently the tea is going to be hard. Apparently they don't sell the tea leaves until town rank C, which we're probably quite a ways off. But we can grow snowdrops. 
Oh, I have a, I have a sack of snowdrops anyway. Um, and the rest are forageables. Apparently you can get lucky off the wild seeds in the winter to, to grow that. Um, and that king scallop as well, which I'm, I'm guess because I haven't come across it yet. I'm guessing it's going to be in the uh, uh, osmium zone underwater, which I will definitely have reached come winter. Uh, top up the wool machines or looms, as some people might call them. saving those things to go into machines. Uh, I guess we could harvest some crops first. Oh, there's two squares. Oh, berry roses are done, I think. We replant some. Uh, unless they're ready in four days, though, I'm probably better off saving those. Yeah. Okay. Well, we can get those in the. Uh... Yeah, let's do silver and bronze. There. And harvest some mushrooms now. Oh, but I might just leave them growing for a while. Actually, no, that's dumb. What I can do. Okay, was that barley? The barley seeds, yeah, we'll save those again for next year then. Um, so, oh, I got, to, yeah, so what I could do, if I get those, I can now seed those ones, so they're all producing now. Now we can get those going as well. What did I need the... What do I need the honey for? Is there some kind of crafting thing I needed any honey for? Oh, it might be the flying trap. Uh, yeah, let's make one of those. Let's... Uh... Yeah, okay, so we need to get some stuff in these. Use some cranberries. Some barley in though, some gold star stuff. I'm gonna save the fairy rose for my beehives, I think. That for next year. Which we'll put in the other one. Put the barley seeds in there too. So we've got one, two, three, four, five empty. Oh, can't get that in. Five empty, so we need 15. Let's, yeah, let's chuck in some peppers. Put that barley in there. There we go. Um, oh, we've got some more there.
I've actually got seven bronze bars. That's not too bad. <clears throat> oh, we can maybe get the uh, fishing rod in. I can't remember if it's bars or kelp. I'm guessing I'll need wood. Let's go and check it out. So, silver rod. Kill peasants, yep. We can do all that. 5k, not too bad. Sweet. I think when I've got a silver rod, I can sort of probably safely go down into like the water mine and sort of get stuff that's down there as well. That'd be quite good. I don't want to put a flying insect thing. I don't know, really. Maybe I'll pop it here. Um, I think you're going under the sea. Just wondering if we do something else before going in the water egg. I think, I think we'll be alright. I think we'll be alright. We've got quite a bit of space. We've got five of these artifacts to activate, so I think that's probably a bit too much to hope to do in one session, but well, maybe we can get a couple done. Go with that seaweed first of all. Okay, we've got one already. I think I'm just going to keep searching and, you know, by the time I found them all, this area is probably going to be clear enough for those all to do their thing anyway. Particularly heavy, and I don't know if it's settling, but indication of how cold it's suddenly becoming. We had quite a very mild, very mild Christmas and New Year, really. I, mean, I haven't even got my winter coat out of the cupboard from last year yet. I think I'll be wearing it this afternoon when I do the school run. Oh, yeah, it's coming down quite hard now, actually. see how much it settles. It's actually quite dry on the ground, so it might settle fairly well. Kids will be pleased. They're not even sarcastic, they love the snow. And the dog was really cute in the snow as well. I think uh, was it last year was the first time he'd really ever seen snow and he was just sort of gambling around in it. It was very cute. He got a little jumper for Christmas, so we'll put him in that. So I've, I've kind of gone around here and done this. Well, I was, actually, I'm probably doing this bit, aren't I? Yeah. Still plenty of plenty of places to go to find these other ones. Although I can't get over there. I don't know if it's one where I can sort of get around from the other side, like the other one. Aha! That's number two. Wait for me, I'm not doing anything. You're the one roaming away. See, if it goes up there, I've pretty much cleared all that, so it should be okay. I 
I did all around there, so too much left to do here. done as well. So we've done round here and done these two so I'm, we could definitely get through this gate because I saw that was receding. Tentacle again. Maybe we'll try and find this one, it's still early. Where are those tentacles? They're kind of withdrawing down there, aren't they? Okay. stuck up there now. Uh, I wonder if we can get through there. No, it's, it's blocked. Okay. Understand what's being said. Take a gift though. Wakami weed. Uh, edible. Okay. I definitely won't stick that straight in the sail, sail bin. So we could probably get up here now. Yeah, so we can start looking for this thing, can't we? Let's put let's bring the uh, let's bring the anchor. I don't think we quite got a full dehydrator, but we got some other stuff. Oh, and he got a couple of bits actually. Never mind. Let's 
Some rice wine. Got a few coffers and I don't know if the blacksmith's still open. Till six. He is actually. Alright, well let's go do those and the uh fossil then. Plesiosaurus leg. I think that's our first aquatic fossil. That's good. So this stuff, um, the auto feeder. Oh, we we could do this now. We could do this now. I might not. I might need to get some more silver kelp. I mean, it's mostly going to be useful for the winter. It'll just feed the animals every day. I'll still have to go and like pat them and stuff, but. Yeah, so I don't need to worry about that right now. Yeah, we can maybe get into the computers as well. It just tells you what sort of critters and stuff and forageables are, are, are nearby to, to find. Apparently it's very useful actually, just knowing what's out there that you can get. Like for instance, this rove beetle I'm trying to find. It would just tell you if it was out there, and you could go get it. I mean, not exactly where it is, I suppose, but at least you'd know it was out. It had spawned. I think that might be new. Although we have two of them now. And we've definitely had that. Donate a couple of things. Oh, don't know where I'm going. We're at one seven five. What do we reckon? One eighty, maybe, for the next one. My watering can. Never, never do it. The mushy's doing. That's still going away. Chuntering away. I'm pleased we're growing some now. It was driving me nuts thinking, why aren't these growing? <laughs> Could get to five, actually. On the old kelps. Might take a little while to process though. There might be more something for tomorrow. I think I've got two batteries as well. I don't think I haven't got a recipe for them, I've just found them. But I actually got three. To do now, I might have to go for a little walk around town looking for things to forage. Bugs. Well, that said, I, I, for some reason the bronze bug net um, didn't seem to expend energy, but the silver one did, and I, I think this one does as well. So I'm not quite sure if that's a bug on the on the uh, bronze one or if that's working as intended. 
I think I'd... Mm, so let's just have one of our fish tacos. So what actual buff does that give? Fishing proficiency plus 10%. I'm, I'm going to probably have another fishing day at some point. I'll just try and remember to have that when I do it. Trim. Since I wasn't finding, since saying I wasn't finding many mushrooms this month, I've done nothing but find mushrooms. Have I been to the hardwood forest this today? I can't remember. I think maybe not. I think maybe not. Loads of stuff, he's running away from me. I suppose that's not... Let's try and catch this, though. I think you're in a Sam Silk Moth. Luna Moth. Well, I've definitely caught Luna Moths before. That thing in there again yet? It's the last time when I didn't have my bug net. Yeah, well, I think we might be done here. That was a fig. I was wondering what that was. Before we go to bed, my dad was going on about something. He was saying there's a section of fence missing in the south of my farm, and I should check it out. He said it's the Steam version of the game has been patched so that the fence has been replaced, but I might be able to do something in my version. Adjacent to the lake, he was saying. This bit, I guess. I mean, I can't... I guess maybe I've got to heal the coral first or something, but I can't, I can't get past this. I think I'd seen this before. Um, yeah, so apparently that should be there should be fence there, but maybe once I've healed the ocean sufficiently. I haven't checked on these for ages, actually. They don't seem to have produced any fruit yet. Yeah, I was just going to maybe put a Matsutake in there. Hmm. Ah, I'm sure it's fine. Ooh, how are these doing? Oh, got two barrels that could be doing something else. Might get some barley in them. Um. gold as well. There we go. That's all wearing away. So I think I might, uh, I might get an early night. Why not? A quick look at what the weather's doing tomorrow. What's Jeff Smith talking about today? Talked about winter already. Forecast is for sunny. Okay, let's go to bed. How much do we think? 8,000 maybe? Oh, I've got over 10 today. It's not bad at all. I mean, now we're getting a bit more disposable income. I might think about equipping my kitchen out a bit more. Although that said, I do want to spend 10,000 on an axe. We'll do the hoe at some point as well. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's plenty to spend money on, isn't there? Plenty to spend money on. But the good news is we're making quite a lot as well. Uh, but thanks very much for watching this episode of Coral Island. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, if you could hit the thumbs up button, that'd be great. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought about the game in this episode. Um, anything contained therein. And if you're watching this and haven't already 
subscribe to the channel. It'd be great if you could do that as well. So thanks very much, and I'll hope to see you next time for more Coral Island. Bye for now.